the internet and YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting off a brand new series, a very special series. If you couldn't tell, we are in The Sims 1. Oh my goodness, this is the game that began it all 20 years ago. Happy anniversary to The Sims. We are going to be having so much fun in this little game today, guys. I have a plan in mind. I have a goal that I would like to reach and we're going to just go ahead and jump straight into Create a Sim. So, my goal is I want to create a superstar and I want to uh, get really famous, make a lot of money and I want to marry John Bon Jovi. If you don't know, in The Sims 1 Superstar, there's actual real celebrities that are wandering around Studio Town and John Bon Jovi is one of them. And as a child of the 90s and early 2000s, I have to say that that guy, ooh, what a heartthrob. I'm pretty sure I can marry a celebrity if I get, you know, close enough with him. So that's our goal. So we need a Superstar Sims name and we are going to call her, hmm, let's see, Hero. Her last name is going to be Hero, and it's going to be a woman, and her first name is going to be something really 90s. Let me see. Julia. Julia Hero. That's us. Alright, we are going to be very outgoing, quite active, pretty playful, kind of nice, but not like too nice because, you know, we want to be famous, so you got to have to like have a fair bit of confidence about you, and you don't have to be that nice to be famous. You got to have a bit of cutthroatness about you. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back to The Sims 1. Oh my goodness, I love this game. To be honest, when I was a kid, I never actually played any of the expansion packs, so I don't really know what I'm doing because, yeah, we couldn't afford them, so we only had... Oh, I like that face for her. Yeah, we could only afford um, the base game, so I've played, a, like, I've played a little bit of the full version of this game, but not as much as you might think. So it's going to be really, really fun for me to explore the game in its fullness, in its glory, in its wonder. I love that outfit. Oof. Yes, girl. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's pretty damn tempting, I have to admit. <laughs> Maybe not though. Maybe not. Ooh. Maybe that. That's quite nice for every day. I don't mind that. That's very sparkly. Or like that. I want to I wanna have something that looks nice, but not too nice. Is Ooh, that's very Bella Goth. Or maybe that. She's got like a, <laughs> she's got a button. Is that like, yeah, she got a pierced belly button. Yes, I love that. Okay. And then, so Julia has one goal in life to find and marry John Bon Jovi. Whoops, Jovi. <laughs> we will accomplish this. Keep an eye on the tabloids for Julia Hero. Done. Excellent. <laughs> cool. All right. Yes, I am done. We are going to move her in. Now, when I first played this game, I lived in this little house right here. So I'm pretty tempted to move into that little house again. However, it is very small. My sister used this house over here and it was quite nice. And then there's also like these ones over here that I've never really played in. Oh, someone lives there. The vanilla home for the family with more imagination than means. Hmm. Or I could move into Old Farm Circle. I mean, eventually I want to live in this mansion over here with John Bon Jovi as my husband. And maybe we can have a kid. But, okay, you know what? Nah, we're going to go in here because, ugh, hello, like, this is just where I always lived. And it's so fun to do those throwbacks so here we are oh how exciting okay so we need a kitchen um we don't have too too much money so we shouldn't go too crazy like buying a lot of stuff do we have like auto counters in this game oh we do oh amazing this game was so ahead of its time like can we just be real about that for a sec like wow that's nice how much money have we got why can't I see my money? That's concerning. Oh, did we not actually move in? Wait, what's going on? Save. Hello? Hashtag confused. Yeah, I'll bet there was an error while saving the house. What the hell happened? Don't know what's going on. 
Oh jeez, everything's just messed up now. Okay, we are back. I don't know what happened. That was a lot of um, restarting the game and making sure it was in the right compatibility mode and running as administrator and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, sorry about that, dudes. Here we are. I've had to remake Julia a little bit. Uh, yeah, I decided to make her a redhead and I also found this outfit, which I liked better. But she's still got the same personality, the same bio and the same mission in life. So to get us started, we've got 8,000 simoleons, which is not bad, not bad. I like it. Oh, this music. Okay, so we are going to buy ourselves a bed. Let's get this one, maybe. Like, we don't have to go super cheap. We're doing all right. And then let's get a nice standing lamp for next to the bed, because that's probably all we can really afford. And then I want to grab the most comfortable sofa that I can. This gorgeous blue number which I used to use all of the time <laughs> and then oh my goodness I love these TVs I love these TVs and computers like look how old they are oh Sims 1 oh man do you remember when TVs were that size guys I do I remember when TV TVs were that size I'm going for like kind of the most expensive of everything that I can afford because I know that comfort is an issue for the Sims in this game. Like, if you haven't got decent objects to handle their comfort, your life is just going to be a nightmare. Like, the Sims will just whinge and complain. <laughs> they do not like being uncomfortable. Okay, I need to find a bin. Um, is that a trash compactor? That's a dishwasher. Let's get a trash compactor. Why not? And then we're going to need some skill building things as well. Ooh, where do I find a mirror? Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Hello, knowledge. A bookshelf would be a good idea. So that, oh, I'm going to block that. Yeah, I'll put it on that side so I don't block the window. And then we're going to need probably something for creativity is always a good idea. Wardrobe. Oh, mirrors are in wardrobe. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense, really. Okay, so we're going to get a beautiful huge standing mirror we're gonna put it I guess I'd like to put it on a diagonal but I can't I guess we'll put it there so that she can work on her charisma because she's gonna need charisma guys if she's gonna be a world famous celebrity like just saying oh there's bins oh uh, I guess hmm yeah no you know what I'm gonna sell the trash compactor and I'm just gonna get her a really simple bin because I don't want the compact the trash compactor to break down <laughs> and then we might also grab this um workout machine in case she needs body skill because you know celebrities have got to keep in shape <laughs> and then she would realistically need somewhere to keep her clothes so I might just get her this dresser will she be able to walk will she be able to walk past that I'm not sure that's so fun that matches her bedroom okay well let's see if she can like use all of the areas in her house oh my god look at her mood okay let's just like pay attention to this right now because i'm gonna tell you right now right now that it's gonna, only gonna go downhill from here <laughs> all right let's see if we can go and paint also one of the first things i want to do is hire a gardener because uh it's there's actually a fair few plants in here and you know what Realistically, we're going to be so busy just going down to Studio Town all of the time that we're probably not going to have time to take care of our plants. And I don't want them to die. She doesn't like this room very much, which is a bit sad. <laughs> okay, so this is our box of making magic stuff. I'm just going to leave that. Um, I'll just sort of come and put it over here because we're not going to be playing with magic, making magic yet. First, she has to accomplish her life goal and then maybe we'll see about mucking around with making magic. So yeah, I definitely want to uh, find her a talent agency and get her started off as a celebrity quick smart. We're just going to get a creativity skill point. And then, yeah, hopefully, I don't know if we'll be able to go down to Studio Town today. We might spend today working on her skills, getting her just like a basic repertoire of things that she knows how to do, especially while her mood is actually decent. Like, we'll try to get her a creativity. Yes, amazing. Hello. Yep, she can walk past that. Okay, brilliant. And then we'll study cooking. Yes, please. Gummons <laughs> now. The simlish in this game, though. <laughs> iconic. Absolutely iconic. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, honey, you studied that cooking. Oh, the gardener's here already? Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, Mortimer Goth is here. And there's my newspaper. And my talent agency thing. Okay, you guys just wait up a sec. Wait, can I... Oh, am I going to be able to get this skill point before they leave? I don't know. 
We're gonna shake hands. We're gonna shake hands. And then whenever these two come over in this game, I always manage to accidentally piss off Mortimer. And I think it's because I always admire Bella. And he doesn't like that because I think admire is counted as like a romantic interaction. So I'm going to try really hard to not do that this time. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to talk about interest with Bella. I definitely want to be best friends with Bella Goth. Yeah, I usually do that, but I think that's a bad plan. So we are not going to do that. Can we have a gossip? Can we talk about interest again? Oh, we can talk about dogs? Let's talk. Oh, she didn't like that. Oh, okay. Well, we're talking to Mortimer now. I wonder if Bella likes dogs. Hey, Bella, do you like dogs? Also, do they have a cooking channel in this game? Because that would also be a good way to get our cooking skill that I want. Just so she doesn't, like, automatically burn down everything she attempts to cook. But yeah, you can see like, oh, <laughs> I thought we were like doing well with Bella, but we were minus one. Their relationships go up so much slower in this game and I love it. Also, if you take a look at their mood, like you'll see that compared to Sims 4, they've got like extra needs and everything. Just... Okay, well she didn't like talking about dogs, so wait, I'm like rethinking this whole like I want to be friends with Bella Goth thing because if you don't like dogs oh I don't know about that sister oh yeah I forgot to take a look at her interests um interests hello okay so she likes politics sports weather the 60s she doesn't like music so we're definitely going to go for acting over music she loves Hollywood though which I'm all about because we're gonna yeah we're gonna get on that. Okay, amazing, perfect, wonderful, love it. All right, let's just see. Do we have a cooking channel in this game? I just want to know. Turn on. Horror romance cartoons. No, we do not seem to have a cooking channel. Okay, that's fine. Well, maybe let's serve lunch for. Our oh, are we gonna talk with Bella? Yes, be friends, and then we will uh, serve lunch for our guests. Or right, let's. Is she leaving? Because she's hungry. She doesn't seem very impressed with us or our house. I mean, I, to be fair, I probably wouldn't be either if I was a goth. <laughs> it's kind of small, kind of cramped, kind of confusing. Oh, dog! Oh my god, can we, can you be our dog? Wait, stop, Spike. Hello. Okay, don't burn that. Good job, sister. I'm so proud of you. Okay, go and go, go, go. Go say hi to Spike. Oh, stop. Praise pet. Look at him, he's so cute! Good doggies! Okay, then we should probably go eat. <laughs> oh, he is a stray! Okay, so how do we adopt a stray in this game? I've never played with pets in The Sims 1, so this is gonna be really fun. We're gonna see if we can adopt Spike at some point in our lives. Uh, after we eat, we're going to need to use the bathroom. Oh, someone didn't flush the toilet. I bet that was Mortimer. Gross. <laughs> nice little 360 you did there, sweetheart. We also can't put away leftovers in this game, so you're better off like using up as much of the food that you cook as possible, otherwise it's, uh, it becomes a real uh, waste. So we're going to entertain her with a joke, and we're going to talk about our interests a little more. And then we might... Oh, hello. Oh, she's eating more? Okay, is Spike still here or did he leave? <gasps> He's still here! Let's go pet Spike some more. Go, sister! Go, Julia! I like our little trees. I think they're quite cute. <laughs> also, I'm so bad with this, like, controlling this game. I'm constantly trying to, like, use my mouse wheel and rotate freely and all that sort of thing, but it really just doesn't work in this game. So that's, that's the whole thing. Wait, one more pet, and then we better go inside. Bella is still here. It's getting kind of late, sweetheart. Oh, and we also haven't done this yet, so we need to find an agent so that tomorrow we can get started on the road to fame. Let's do this. Yes. Okay. Hello. Sin City Talent Agency. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Sounds good enough to me. Okay, and then we still have a little bit of energy, and we're not dead, so we're going to start working on our charisma. <laughs> that's my that's like my my brackets for can we do something in this game it's like okay we still have some energy and we are not dead therefore we study skills also I think Bella should be probably going home at some point soon are you leaving yeah okay bye Bella how'd we do well we ended up on seven wow all of that work and only seven oh 
gonna be tough. Okay, we've, we're still not dead and we've still got energy, so we're gonna see if we can get another charisma skill point. Also guys, if you have any like tips about how to play this game well, especially in terms of becoming a celebrity, please let me know what they are because I don't know. <laughs> I've never really managed to do it before. I think I've gotten up to about two and a half stars um, one time when I was playing with the game and then it just got too hard and I was like, ah! So yeah, if you have any tips on it, please leave them um, below in a comment because I will definitely appreciate hearing anything you guys might have for me about how to succeed in The Sims 1. But yeah, this game is so hard. It's so much harder than uh, The Sims 2. Oh! What is that noise? What's going on? Oh, did someone just pee there? Okay, we're okay. okay. Also, can you get a burger alarm in this game? Wait. Um, phones, audio, video, other? Is that a burglar alarm? Yes! We are definitely going to get that. And we're also going to get that. Okay, cool. I don't want to use up all of our money because I feel like it's going to be quite some time before we are actually earning decent money as a celebrity. So, yeah, I need to be careful with that. But yeah, it's so hard. Their needs are just so quick to go down. I think it's the most realistic out of all of the games. Like, our needs do go down pretty quickly in real life. I think the one that was the best balanced in terms of needs going down and whatever like that um, would probably be... The Sims 2, or maybe The Sims 3. In The Sims 4, the needs barely go down at all, which is, you know, eh. We're gonna recycle that, and then we're going to have breakfast. Go, honey, go! Also, I love how fast the time goes if you actually, like, do this. Okay, and then we're gonna need to have a bit of fun before we go out to Studio Town. So we might uh, work on our painting a little more after breakfast. And then we'll try to get down to Studio Town by midday and start working on some stuff and of course we're going to be on the hunt for our future husband and lover John Bon Jovi <laughs> okay yeah wash that up good job painting is fun right oh my god you walk so slowly come on sister move it yeah it's fun we don't like this room at all is that because there's like we need to recycle these Go, 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 go. Oh, but our comfort... Okay, we're going to have to go and actually just watch some TV so that our comfort doesn't tank before we go to Studio Town as well. Because when you're at Studio Town, you're, like, walking around and you're trying to talk to people, you're trying to perform on stage and do all of this stuff and your comfort just tanks. That's what I mean. That's why I, I invested in a slightly better couch. All right. And then we're going to call a cab and go to Studio Town. And on our way out, we will recycle this newspaper. And we'll probably recycle that newspaper as well. Yes, please. I would love a ride to Studio Town. Also, I love that you can just sign up with a talent agency. Like, you don't have to audition or anything. <laughs> it's quite cool. Um, yes. Oh, did you just literally just... Oh, sweet pea. Don't do that. Just don't be like that. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Listen to the music. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so this is like the super fancy Hollywood studio. And then I think over here that is like a medium one. And then this is like the basic one, the Mika studio. So I think this might be where we start off. And then we'll see if we can work our way up. All right, so here we are in Studio Town. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Okay, so we have Christopher. We have Alicia. We have Irene. Uh, Lana over here is our source of information for how to get famous essentially the, we have the paparazzi richie samboras here oh, i love this this is so much fun ask about fans so as you earn more fame opportunities will open up in studio town if you don't move up the ladder as quickly as you'd like make sure to practice at home and don't forget to rub elbows with other celebrities here in studio town it's not just about the work yep so i think in times when I've like played this in the past, it's the rubbing elbows with other famous people that takes the most time and is the most difficult. Just because, yeah, like it's hard. It's so hard to make friends with people in this game. <laughs> Christine, Christine, nice. Fans are what keep the famous going. Talk with your admirers, get to know them. A lack of attention from you is liable to drive at least one of them to brink off obsession. To the brink of obsession. Oh, whoops, I read that wrong. Okay, so we're going to go over here and we are going to start entertaining on stage. And this is how you start to gain 
fame, I believe. If there's a better thing that you can do to like start, I love this green suit. Yeah, start yourself off. I'd love to know what it is. But okay, so congratulations, Julia Hero. Due to your recent success in Studio Town, we are upgrading your standing on our star charts. You've gained a star level. Amazing. So I think if we have a look in here, we are now a 0.5 celebrity. <laughs> Woohoo! We're not even one star yet. <laughs> We're gonna get there. I have faith in us. Oh, did I fall over? How embarrassing. And I got paid 10 bucks. Nice. So yeah, we definitely need to work on our body skill, our creativity skill, and our charisma skill. Like, all of those are, I believe, extremely important for gaining fame. Let's shake hands with Alana. Let's see if we can be friends with her and start working on, like, talk about interests. Talk about interests. Um, ask. What are you into? Oh, no, let's ask how are you. That's nice. Talk about interests. Let's do this. Dylan is here. So we like fashion. She likes fashion. Nice. Looks like we're going to have a good relationship with this Alana girl. Because, yeah, we need famous friends. And if we have a look in here, we can see she is Alana anybody. So she is a little bit above us, I believe. Because we are like, like a nobody right now. Yeah, so friends total star power. To lend the best gigs, you have to network. This number indicates how much star power your friends are worth and how much you'll need to progress to the next star level. Remember, the more famous a star and the more power they wield in Studio Town uh, and the more helpful they'll be to your career. Yeah, so I think we'll get to start off with her. Anybody is pretty low, but I think a somebody is like sort of what we want to get to. All right, how's our mood? We're still alive and not dead. Excellent. And then... Wesley's here. Oh, there's food over here? Wait, where's the food? Hello. Oh, buffet. Yes. We can eat. I love it. Okay, where are you, sweet pea? Are you coming? Yes, yeah, she's coming. Go, Julia. And then after we do this, we might head off to um, the, like, super fancy lot. Oh! <laughs> That's my name. Oh, wait, we have to greet her. We have to be friends with Bethany. Just because it's going to be fun. Yum. Oh, our bladder's getting pretty low. Is there a bathroom around here? Oh, yeah, there's bathrooms over here. Okay, did we meet Bethany? Wait. Oh, too much is happening. Everything happens so quickly in this game. Okay, talk about interests. Ask. How are you? This girl is fried as <laughs> And then we're going to go to the bathroom. Yes! Ask about mood. Entertain. Let's do this. How are you? She needs fun. Yeah, that's fair, sister. It's not the most fun, like... Oh my gosh, it's already night time? Ah! Okay. We're just. I would just want to see if we can find John Bon Jovi. And then we'll leave. Did we use the bathroom? No? Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't like the look of this, guys. I do not like the look of this. Yes, please come and pick me up. Can we quickly go to the bathroom before he gets here? I doubt it. Maybe we should have just come and sat on the couch a bit to gain our comfort. Yes? Oh, yes! We've managed to do it. We've managed to do it. Okay. Woohoo! And then we're going to go. And hopefully not die. Come on, Julia. Julia Gulia. That's from my best friend's wedding, I think. Julia. No, the wedding singer. That's, yeah. Anyway, that's totally beside the point. Please ignore me. That's a great movie with um, Adam Sandler and what's her face, Drew Barrymore. So, by the way, okay, we've got Christopher's here again, Lana's here again. Is our future lover here? Doesn't look like he's here yet. Okay, can we just come and sit? Like over here? Maybe? Everything is honking! There's so much noise! <laughs> Okay, it looks like there's food here. Todd is here. Oh, I'm so sad that we haven't met John Bon Jovi today. Come on. Oh, there he is. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's him. It's our future husband. No, wait. Don't leave. I want your autograph. I want to meet you. Hello. And then Alicia. She looks famous. Can we have your autograph? Oh my God, thank you so much. Can we have another autograph? I love you. 
Marry me. Clear, clear. <laughs> He's probably just like, who the heck is this chick? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go home because she's about to pass out and she's got no fun and no comfort. Yes, please. Let's just come and greet this. Yeah, I know, sweetie, I know. You're doing so well. Yeah, let's come and greet this Mitch bloke because he might be a somebody. Okay, I think our car is here. Let's see. Nah, he's an anybody. Lee somebody. So she's a somebody, but she hates us. Awesome. And then Bethany is an anybody as well. Well, we should probably try to make friends with this Lee lady. Okay, we're just gonna go straight to bed. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Just go to bed. Oh, wait, we should clean that up. Sorry. Because you failed at cleaning it up this morning. What are you doing? <laughs> Why do you have to route like that? Okay, don't ask questions. Just go with it. Go, you can make it. You can make it to bed. I have so much faith in you right now, darling. I love it. <sighs> okay, amazing. Yeah, so right now we have zero star power in terms of our friends, so that is definitely concerning. All right, let's get out of bed. That's enough energy for now. Let's take a shower, and then let's just go and watch TV, maybe? I know. Life is tough right now. Oh my god, the sounds that they, they, like the TV makes, though, just... Oh my god, I'm eight years old again, literally. Everything is so familiar to me. I must have played so much of this game. And just the base game. Ah, why do we have bugs? Oh, gross. Okay, we're going to have to call... Can we call... No, we can't call an exterminator. Ew. Okay, we're not seeming to enjoy this. Let's let's try romance. We saw John Bon Jovi today, so we're just in the mood to watch some romance. Yeah, she's laughing, so she likes romance. Okay, that's good. Oh my god, my dog's here! Hello! Sorry, I, that was really loud. Sorry, headphone users. RIP. I just got really excited over the dog. Pet some more. Why does he hate us? Why aren't we friends yet? Okay, and then we really need to take care of these bugs because that is absolutely disgusting. Also, why is playing with the dog not fun? I think really playing with the dog would be fun. Okay, then we're going to try to have a quick dinner. Oh good, that worked. I was worried she was going to catch like a disease and die or something because let's be real, it's The Sims 1. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Okay, yes. We successfully cooked food. I'm so impressed that we have not had a fire in this episode. Go, Julia. You're such a superstar already just for not burning your house down. I am proud of you. Okay, then we're going to use that. We're going to paint a bit. And then I'm probably going to put her to bed. And this is probably going to have to be where I wrap up this episode of The Sims 1. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I hope that you are really keen to see more of this game. I'm so keen to play more of it. I think it's going to be amazing, amazing fun. I am absolutely determined that we are going to meet our goal of marrying John Bon Jovi because childhood dreams have to come true in The Sims. Because if they don't come true in The Sims, where else are they going to come true? Hashtag deep. Anyway, guys, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a like or a comment. Leave any thoughts, suggestions, tips, or feedback down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Sims 1. Bye for now.